This is Shiroishi Station. I came here by local train from Sendai, and we're basically out in the countryside here in Miyagi. The ride was beautiful. It was, it was a really beautiful view outside the window. The station is small. It's gonna be a bit of a wait before I can get my bus. If you're planning on going to the Fox Sanctuary, definitely pre-plan the exact logistics of your travel. They may not be as apparent as other places, and you may end up finding yourself in a position where you basically have to just wait around for an hour or two. Definitely plan for your return for pretty much the same reason. What was intended to be a day trip could very easily turn into just an hour or so at your destination. It's a beautiful day, and the weather is really nice as well. It's not hot, it's not humid. I don't feel sweaty, I just feel the slightest of breeze and a very comfortable temperature on my body and the quiet serenity of being at a small train station out in rural Japan. We're coming up to the exit, the Deguchi. Deguchi. Just let her JR rail pass through. Station stamp. To get to the bus that'll take us to the Fox Village, we leave the station, we head to the right, and then we climb up on this bridge and that will take us to a bus stop in front of some apartments. I just can't understate how good the weather is today. After all the heat of September, this is really nice. It's a beautiful day to be out and about. There is a limited number of coin lockers in the train station, and it seemed like there was a bias towards the larger ones being empty. For 700 yen, you can store a lot of stuff. Those machines only take 100 yen coins. There is a coin changer, but it's, it's probably out a lot of the time. I was able to buy a Red Bull and cash out the rest of my yen so I could make the payment. If it's busy or if you're on a tight schedule to make your connection, because if you miss this bus, it's gonna be punishing, then you might wanna make sure you have 700 yen. We're continuing across this bridge. And what this is, this is a pedestrian bridge over the train tracks. This is a rural part of Japan. There's still a lot of track underneath me, generally in places where it might be unsafe. If you look around, you'll probably find a bridge or a tunnel. For these local trains, if you get on or off at the end of the line, you'll notice that they stick around for a little bit before they take off. So we have successfully found the bus stop, and as promised, it was across the street. The first thing to notice is Apparently this bus does not run on Wednesdays. To take this bus to get out there, looks like you got exactly two choices. 1014, which we missed today, and 114, which we're waiting out for. Right now it's 1121, so that's 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 gonna that's that's almost two hours. Might need to look into uh, a taxi. I mean, that's two hours. That's two hours that we could be spending playing with the foxes. And if we get there at one, uh, that's gonna limit our time. I think we have to leave at like three or four. If you're going to the Fox Village, it's 700 yen, and that's a one-way fare. So a round trip will set you back about 1,400 yen or 10 bucks. And it looks like you have to book ahead in the winter time. Sumimasen. What? Uh, Ikura uh, Fox Sanctuary. Ah, uh, mm, Go sen. Go sen. Hi, 5,000. All right, so it looks like if we want to catch the bus back, you got two options, uh, five minutes past noon and 10 minutes past three. And that'll get us back to where we were uh, 20 minutes ago. And once again, that fare is looking like it's gonna be about 700 yen, which is uh, a lot cheaper than 5,000 yen. But if I would have waited all that time, I would have had like, what, like 45 minutes here, which yeah, that would have sucked. So. I'm really glad I make, made the decision that I did. And just be mindful that if you're coming out here to plan around the fact of the, the timing of the buses, you know, just, just make sure you have a good plan in place for that. We got a picture of big happy fox. They're Iriguchi. Iriguchi, Iriguchi. It looks like it's gonna cost you 1,500 yen. It's a little bit over 10 bucks US to get in. And the last entry to the park is at four in the afternoon and it's closed at 4.30. Spoiler alert, I had a fantastic time. I had a really good time here today. And 
If you're asking yourself whether or not you should give this place a visit, the answer is probably yes. If, if you love animals, this is one of those places in Japan that's kind of a no miss because it's just so unique in what it is. You're basically gonna spend a couple of hours inside of an enclosure full of foxes. There's a whole lot of them in there, well over a hundred I'd say. And it's a really cool experience. 